in every country of free men, the government needs to know that he takes his power from us and he takes his taxes to gain his power from us. He takes the consent of us to control the companies and to um, control the wealth. And um, the, the government should never be given all of the power of the country because the country it's ruled by the people. So there are two things that all free men must have. And any free men living under a government of a country, and that is um, they must be free to talk. They must be free to say anything that they want, no matter what it is, no matter if it's hate speech, doesn't matter what it is. He must be free to talk, talk, talk to his little heart's content. And no one can do anything wrong to him or hurt him because he is talking because talking is not a crime. And um, secondly, all free men um, must have, must be able to bear arms. That means every man must have a, a weapon in his house that he can use to protect himself. And the reason for that is that this country is ruled by the people and um, there must be checks and balances of power. There must be safeguards on the power the government cannot, never have all of the power. And that is why men are free to talk and men are free to have weapons. If the men of Syria were all free to talk, that would stop the revolution because they are free to talk. And if all men were free to have, all men had weapons in Syria, the Shabiha would have never knocked on doors and dared to come into these houses and take and rip families apart or to do half of the things they did, they would not walk free. The Shabiha would not walk free in our streets if we had the ability to protect ourselves, but they know that we did not. So all from this day forward in Syria, all free men must be free to talk and all free men must have the right to bear a weapon. And this should be embedded in the constitution of the new Syria.